Hello everyone, welcome to April Feels Day. I hope you're all having a great time. Personally, I can't wait to learn more about the books that are being launched today and I can't wait to buy them and read them. I just know it's going to be a super fun time because you can't go wrong with a romance class book, am I right? Anyway, I was lucky enough to be given the chance to launch my own book at this particular event, so I should get started, I guess. Um, in case this is the first time that you're seeing me or hearing about me at all, my name is Clarice David and I write young adult romance books, most of which are set in Iloilo, which happens to be my hometown. I'd like to think of my books as funny enough to make you laugh out loud, but not angsty enough to stress you out. I mean, I hope they stress you out just a tiny bit, but not that much. <laughs> The book I'm launching today is entitled Vlog Like You Love Me and as you can probably tell by the title, one of my main characters is a YouTuber. Her name is Bianca and she loves uploading thrift hauls, thrift remies, and so forth. She basically creates content that teaches people how to stay in, in style without spending a lot of money. The thing is, Bianca gets dumped in like the most embarrassing way imaginable. It's especially embarrassing if you're like 17. To save face, she starts fake dating one of her classmates. He's, his name is Michael and he's kind of obsessed with Harry Potter. Michael has his own issues and when those issues sort of meet, Bianca's issues, hijinks ensue. So there's a lot of angst about family and friendships and relationships and there's also plenty of banter. So if you like plenty of banter in your books, I think you might like vlog like you love me. So I hope you guys enjoy the little preview of Vlog Like You Love Me that you get to see today. And despite everything that's going on, I'm so glad to still be a part of this community because um, no matter what happens in real life, um, this community right here, which is full of words and love and kindness and support, it always remains as this like one bright spot. And I know you guys pretty much feel the same way. So thank you so much for everything, for encouraging me to write again and to continue creating and I hope we get to do this for a very long time. Thank you and goodbye. Like You Love Me by Clarice David. She reached out and patted his arm in what she thought was a comforting manner. I'm sorry. To her surprise, Michael bit out a sad, slightly hysterical laugh. He exhaled, Wow. What? I really must look pathetic if we're trying to be nice. Michael shook his head as if he was hoping his heartbreak would go away with emotion. Honestly, you kind of do. Bianca aimed a small smile in his direction. A breeze ruffled Michael's hair, brushing back the strands across his forehead. The word, wow, flashed in her mind as she gazed at him. If there were another more suitable word, she couldn't think of one right now. Shaking up the thought, she said, do I need to point out that you're crying in public? Well, it's not as bad as embarrassing myself on Instagram Live. Bianca gaped at him her jaw dropping of its own accord. It never occurred to her that Michael even had pettiness in his DNA. He seemed like the type of person who would catch flies in a mason jar and unleash them on the world instead of killing them. Wow, Bianca finally said, but for a different reason than earlier. 
Eyes still glassy with unshed tears, Michael rubbed the back of his neck sheepishly. I didn't mean that. No, you did. Bianca fully faced him, looking him in the eye. She set his back back on the ground so that there was nothing between them. I never knew heartbreak could bring out this side of you. I'm honestly impressed. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Oh, it is. Definitely. Silence settled between them, like a blanket that looked old and itchy, but turned out to be quite cozy. Bianca took this as an opportunity to study Michael. During the first week of grade 12, most of her classmates couldn't stop talking about how he turned hot over the summer break. Puberty hit him late, but oh my god, it did hit him like a bus. He shot up by several inches and his previously scrawny frame filled out with lean muscle. According to Cindy, it had been because he'd spent the summer helping out in a relative's sugar cane field in Cabaretuan. If that really was the case, then all that heavy lifting did wonders for him. The mouth that had been previously been too big fit this new, more grown-up version of his face. It enhanced every other feature around it and created a pleasing effect that made you want to look twice. Or thrice. And did she even want to get started on the dimples that dented both his cheeks? Whenever she caught him smiling, she felt the urge to reach out and poke each one. The tips of her fingers itched at that thought. Michael Havaliana was hot. The problem was he didn't quite know what to do with it yet. I just never thought Isabel would do this, you know. Michael broke the silence after a while. Bianca sighed. She understood, but he was trying all too well. He turned away from her, most likely to hide the tears that were now streaming down his face. We fought about plenty of things, mostly about her, how her friends are douchebags, but, but, but I thought she'd brave it out for you. Bianca niched for him. She knew how that felt, to be caught off guard. You didn't even have time to brace yourself for the incoming onslaught of pain. Yeah, I never thought she'd given up. Michael did bother wiping away his tears, and she admired him for that. Or that she wouldn't even have the guts to break up with me in person. Join the club. Bianca looked down at her shiny polished shoes. The sun was setting bathing everything in a pinkish and golden haze. The few remaining students that had been around earlier were all gone. You know the thing that bugs me the most? Bianca was surprised by her own honesty. She was always blunt, but she rarely word vomited her vulnerabilities to people who were not Cindy or her parents. That they couldn't even tell us to our faces. It's the least you could do. If you're going to break someone's heart, at least so it would respect. Maybe that's a point. The respect isn't there anymore. Michael sniffed and bit down his, on his lip. Listen, I'm going to give you an important piece of advice. Bianca laced her fingers together and stretched her arms out in front of her. She gave him time to get herself together before she spoke again. Today's Friday. You have an entire weekend to, to wallow. Do whatever you need to make sure you're at least semi-okay by the time you see Isabel again, and begging her to get back together isn't going to work. It's only going to make her think that you're clingy and, and that she was right to break up with you in the first place. I repeat, do not beg. Michael's eyes, still watery, drank her in for what felt like a lifetime. But aren't you supposed to fight for someone if you really love them? This boy was so ignorant about relationships, it was almost funny, if it wasn't so pitiful. Bianca let out a short, staccato laugh. Winners don't like that. If you want to be one, I suggest going back to school Monday looking like you don't care. Is that what you've been doing since Ray broke up with you? Pretending you don't care? Bianca stopped. He was right. She had been pretending to be okay, even if the pain pulsed inside her, and bloomed all over again every time she laid eyes on her ex-boyfriend. But she couldn't let Michael know that. She shook her head. I don't need to pretend, because I know I, I can do better. She pulled herself up to her full height and looked down her nose at him. If you're as smart as I think you are, you'll listen to me.
Michael waited until she had taken about 10 steps away from the bench before speaking again. Hey! She turned around, still walking. What? He cupped his hands around his mouth and yelled, You giving me advice! Does that mean we're friends now? In your dreams. Vlog Like You Love Me by Carice David.